Hello, my name is Tom Pagac and in this video I will show you Power Automate Flow that is able to create Microsoft Office group, then add Teams to this group and later on create Planner for this group in order to use it within Service Desk solution. So let's make myself a bit smaller and let's start with the actual solution. So Service Desk is in the model driven application. I use the creator kit so I highly recommend you um, to install it if you didn't yet done this. Then there is a, also explanation how to copy custom page template because this one uh, I am using in, in this solution. Then few housekeeping things. Of course I am using production type environment meant for developing in my tenant. Um, of course, this service desk is part of the solution, so every component is, is inside the, the solution. And in this video I will be talking about Cloudflow. In order to change the status of this flow from initial off to on, you need to provide um, values for the environment variables. Uh, I will be talking about that uh, inside the flow actually. So let's see what's inside. Okay, this one is manually triggered because um, for sure we want only one group to be created for this solution. And uh, here we have only one question. Uh, if we want to prepare everything via this flow or only a few parts. So everything is described, then we will need a user ID. So based on the user uh, that triggered this flow, we will extract the ID for this user. Then of course, uh, variables that we will reuse later. And we will start from adaptive card. So based on the choice, from the trigger. Uh, we have a switch on this scenario. So uh, in the first case we will be creating every component um, but in order to have um, possibility to, uh, to, to modify, to adjust a bit all of these informations, uh, we need to gather feedback or output from the from the user. So we are sending the adaptive card and waiting for response. So this is the our adaptive card. We will be asking for a group display name, group mail nickname and service desk planner plan name. Of course I set the default values but if you want to change anything, of course it is doable and then um, flow will be waiting for the button to be clicked. Let's get back to the, to the flow. So when we will have output from this adaptive card, we are actually sending HTTP requests uh, using connector um, Office 365 groups. This one supposed to be free, I think. So on top of this, I 
uh, mention the documentation so you can read about how to create a um, group via graph API call. Uh, the most important is that the graph API need, API need to have uh, permissions. So uh, everything is described in here before you will start uh, with using this uh, for the user that uh, will be impersonated uh, permissions must be granted so okay um, so basically here for example I am using the environment variable for the future it will be really easy to maintain uh, if, if the endpoint will Will change. Uh, from the adaptive card I am using this display name and mail nickname. Uh, what is set still is the description for the group, of course it may be changed. Uh, group types of this uh, information about that it's the part of documentation so uh, it's uh, supposed to be like that. Um, mail enabled uh, it's true because uh, in order to later establish a planner for this group uh, this group need to be related to the to the email uh, but must not be a security enabled so this one uh, is set for false and uh, of course based on documentation you will read that um, uh, that when we want to relate uh, components like teams or planner uh, we need to have an owner uh, and member of the group so uh, since the beginning of the creation we have uh, ourselves, like the trigger uh, trigger user will be owner and member of the of the group and uh, then um, parsing JSON and we are sending the first information that next update is expected in 25 minutes because the delay is related to the information that if you want to relate group with themes uh, sometimes um, replication will take up to 15 minutes or more so that is why I set this delay action for 20 minutes then I am using uh, this correlation action so instead of going manually to the admin portal uh, to the groups and making this relation manually of course I am using API to to make this call so uh, in order to generate this QR code for you okay but as you can see uh, you will see uh, this uh, links uh, in the note section for the action okay so when we have a group established and then um, teams is added to the group uh, we can obtain a mention token for the user to notify um, the person then we need to iterate via this group because um, originally by default we have one general uh, channel and we will be posting uh, update information not in chat with flowbot but rather in in teams in teams channel so this apply to each scope will um, will iterate only once by general and set this teams default channel uh, id as, as as general channel and then we will post the first information you will see then 
first update as a reply to this message. So instead of posting every time the new message, we will be replying on the same thread. Uh, then immediately we are going to create planner. So uh, one thing, mm, for the previous ones, I am using the connector V2. It could be as well this one, um, but it's not meant for the production. So we can play with all those uh, actions. So here, in order to create planner plan, unfortunately, uh, this action uh, with using v2 uh, action is failing. So I am using the, the, the previous uh, old one. Uh, what we need, we need ID of the group. This one will be the owner of the plan and title. Uh, as you remember, we asked uh, for this information in Adaptive Carp. Uh, then we are parsing body of this of this action and we have a delay of five minutes in order to be sure that uh, every component within planner is created are created successfully um, then we are composing action for the next update. Um, I am using this action because um, sometimes when you want to um, use the or compose the uh, link with um, dynamic values, it's, uh, it's, it's breaking itself. Um, I will be talking more about in, in the future videos, but now let's focus on the on the main part of the flow. So then uh, we need to list buckets and create a bucket triage. So this one will be our starting point uh, for the uh, for the tickets. And then after creation of, of, the, of the bucket, uh, we will reply with the information that bucket was created successfully and then final update that everything was um, populated successfully. And then you will see uh, the input to the environment variables because in order to to activate the, the following flows, uh, you need to provide this information to environment variables. Uh, for the second scenario, when we want to only create planner based on the group that we already have, there is the same set of, of actions, but from the point of creation, creating planner, actually. So that's all. So let's go to the developer tenant and run this flow to see how this is working. Mm, this is cloud. Flow. Okay, establish service desk components. <clears throat> okay, run and I don't have dedicated Microsoft group and let's start over to teams okay power automate send card okay so our group i was playing with this so this one will be 
service desk 10. By Tom Packard, service desk 10. And service desk plan, it can stay like that. Okay, so let's continue with service desk creation. Service desk creation started and creation is ongoing. Group has been created and next update is expected in 25 minutes. So I will pause and get back to you. Delay is still counting, but in the meantime, <laughs> I received uh, the question about the feedback. So for the thousandth time, I will submit that I would likely recommend this solution to my friends. <laughs> okay, uh, I will be back later. Okay, finally, 20 minutes passed. And let's see, okay. Uh, the request to add teams succeeded and uh, we will still need to wait additional five minutes. So I'm pausing. Okay, the next status update is coming. The delay is about to complete. So now we will be extracting a mention token for the user. So we should probably go to the to the themes because in themes we will be informed about the next actions okay list channels and now it will be posting a message in the group, newly created service desk 10 by Tom Bagach. Okay, so, hello, it's nice that you decide to establish. I'm in hurry to inform you that the Teams has been connected. And in the thread, you will see, uh, okay, <laughs> you will see uh, this information and Next delay, so let's see ya in five minutes. Okay, it looks like the last delay completed because I heard in Teams. Yes, the update. So we have a second update, a third update, and final update with the input to our environment variables. So let's see planner up. Planner up related to the service desk 10 uh, group. So that's all for this video. Thank you. I hope you will enjoy and have a great day. See you in the next video.